Hello, Internet. This is Ben with, um, God, what is this? This is I need to test Mysterious Space anyway uh, to see if I can find any bugs or other issues. And if I'm just going to go and play the game, then I don't know. Let's do it together. <laughs> you can watch. Uh, we can pretend it's a let's play, and I'll try to comment interestingly. I, I don't know. This isn't a thing I usually do. Uh... Translation strings, that's a known issue. Although, you know, I should just take notes while I'm doing it so that I have a list. Let's be productive. I will need a pen. Pens are for being productive. I will need a paper. Paper is also for being productive. Here's a bunch of notes. Yeah, I've already done most of these things. Anyway, so, um, press, whoops. Uh, start when done. I'm going to put this under the heading translation translation work because there's going to be a lot of that. And I'm sure I've talked about this before, but I'm also sure that most people aren't watching all the videos. Am I sure of that? I guess I have no clue. Um, but you may notice that it's awfully in English. Why am I saying translation? Uh, the strings, I, I don't consider language to be the, the native language of the game. Like it kind of is because I fail to make translation strings for everything. But when there is a translation thing, I have to make an English translation version. So from the code's point of view, there isn't really a default language, and so that's why even though it's in English, that's just the default string, and you can see it's got pounds on, it's pound symbols on either side, and that means it's an untranslated string, and it has a little English description. Maybe that means English is the default language. I don't know why I'm saying these things. Let's play the game. I am going to take the long path, because that means I will play more, and hopefully I will find more things. I recently... Um, I, now I want to talk about two things. I have thought of doing Let's Plays in the past for games that, you know, like actually, not me playing my own game in order to develop it. I don't know what I would do that for. However, I have been playing an awful lot of City Skylines. But there are already amazing people doing Let's Plays of City Skylines, so why do I need to... You know, I'm not going to be as good as that Corrales guy. He's kind of amazing. I, I, I love his accent, too. Um, <laughs> just his attitude is really, it's really great. Um... Yeah, so I don't know. I also watch Game Grumps, which are like the opposite of Corrales, whereas Corrales is like super calm and having a good time. Game Grumps is, it's two guys, and one of them, Aaron, just like freaks the hell out about everything, and it's hilarious, and so that's another good thing. And I love, I don't know, for a very long time I was like, let's play, that's nonsense. If I want to play a game, I'll play it myself. And that's still true. I really like seeing the Let's Plays of... So there, there's two kinds of Let's Plays I've discovered I liked. For a building game like City Skylines, it's awesome to see like the other things people do. It was more useful when I, I don't know, had less an idea of what I was doing. But I don't know, watching people put down like the different roads and the, and the things they know and the, and the mods that they're aware of. Um, I don't know, it's just interesting, and it's interesting to see, it, it's learning, both learning kind of meta game, you know, the, the mods available, the ones that are actually any good, um, but then also just seeing how people build their cities, it's so interesting, people have very different ideas about all that stuff. The other kind of Let's Plays I like watching are of games I will never play. There was an awesome one, it was like high school dreams or something, I don't know, it, it was this, it was a dating game, and you were a girl, which already I feel like is awesome because I've actually tried playing like the horrible Japanese dating sims and they're they're awful. They're like it's so bad. Um, but so this was from a girl's point of view, which was better. But then also, why would I play this? Because it was like so like typical, like stereotypical high school nonsense. And but the guys playing it were just like drinking and you know being a little tipsy and playing this game, and it was wonderful. For all I know, they were completely drunk. I don't think that was the case. They weren't acting completely and utterly drunk. Maybe they can just handle being drunk a little better than other people I know. Anyway, it was a, uh, it was it was it was a joy to watch that. Um, let me think about what I'm going to get. I should. Oh God, there's so many options now. So something I've recently added is that the. Uh, whole, strength and whole, and I should probably change the word strength into something else uh, to reflect that it's, I don't know, you're making your ship bigger also, I guess. I, it adds carrying capacity. It just kind of made them, thematic sense? I don't know, like you're building onto your hull and, I don't know, therefore you get carrying capacity? I don't know. Um, but also strength and hull upgrade was kind of lame, so uh, 
and the UI for this is not complete and I will take another note of that because that's something else I will forget even though I talk about it um, so let's say UI work gosh this pen is terrible here we go UI work I wish I could remember the name of that high school game it was like it was 3d so it wasn't like the the dating sims where you just like have a picture and you're making choices um, like the pigeon dating game hat of a boyfriend which is hilarious because you're a human girl and you were dating pigeons and it's wonderful um, so that's like another one of the rare good like I guess I have not played that many dating sims so I cannot I cannot make that sort of assertion I'm going to assert anyway even though I have no right that all Japanese dating sims are awful um, based on like the two I tried um, anyway, so what do I need to do here? Um, yes, yeah, so where it says like 5 out of 20, and I'll just say 5 out of 20, for example, um, the, the inventory thing, I need to inventory limit. It, it needs improvement. Make better, that is what my note will say. And I mean, so one thing, you, I mean, there's a couple problems with it. One, if you look at it, you're like, what's that number mean? I don't know. I guess I ignore it. Like, that is what most users looking at that are going to be. You're going to look at that and go, I don't know, five? I don't have five things here. There's just no indication. Um, and when you go to equipment, you can't see that number, but your equipment counts as your inventory as well. So I think that that number needs to be pulled out somewhere entirely, maybe uh, below the whole, you know, dialogue. I don't know. It, it just needs to be changed completely. So, um, so yes, games I would never want to play. I'm going to save up. I'm going to save up for second weapon slot. Uh, and that's two categories because I thought so I was really enjoying the game grumps because they're ridiculous I was like why not I'll try watching you know one for uh, what was one I ended up watching like just binge watching uh, Zelda 2 um, but yeah I was like sure you know this is a game that uh oh uh oh am I already gonna die because I'm talking the, those are he got pushed oh, they're good we're discovering so many bugs so he got pushed by event. That's why he's all the way up there at the top of the vent. Those guys should not be pushed by vents, and that is just a little flag I can add. Um, so, anemone not, should not, I should say, should not be affected by vents and winds. Wind and, and vents are coded the same way, so there's you if you resist one you resist the other anyway that's pretty hilarious I'm gonna shoot him dead uh, yeah Zelda 2 which like watching the game I thought I might play it someday because I've heard it's great and I watched it was like no this game is awful who would play this and just like every time they pointed something out it would be things that I would never do to you in mysterious space let's let's say so one of the things was um I don't know, like one of the houses has a chimney and somehow you're supposed to know to go up there. That at least I was like, okay, well, no, their house has a chimney, so you might naturally be curious about it. The worst thing, the most offensive, I'm going to skip from the least offensive to the worst offensive of all the bad things. Uh, the most offensive was that there's like a forest and you're just supposed to go in some particular square of the woods that look exactly the same as all the other woods and there's a dude with a house there. And if you don't go there, you cannot beat the game. Like, you just have to know. It, it, from what they were saying, they, they seemed to suggest, whew, excuse me, um, that there was nothing, you probably can't even hear when I'm, like, holding back a burp or whatever. It's these fizzy drinkies. Um, from what they were saying on Game Grumps, it sounded like there was nothing in the game that would ever tell you. Like, maybe some dude is like, go visit the guy in the woods. Um, Jesus, I'm dead. Um, yeah, I'm dead. Well, we'll try this again. I've already discovered bugs, so I'm succeeding, even if it doesn't look like I am. Uh, let's go this way this time. So yeah, you just had to know to go in this square of forest on the world map that looked like every other square of forest, and if you didn't go there, you couldn't beat the game, and there was nothing to indicate to you that maybe you should go there, except maybe an NPC somewhere may have said, hey, there's a guy in the forest, but like, what are you supposed to do? And then there's also a dungeon where you have to go through the walls there's like some go through walls but never before in the game was there anything about you know walls that look like walls but but aren't but you can go through them and it was just those are two examples i can remember i know there were other things like this where like you just had to know the game didn't tell you you just had to know it drives me crazy so like watching the place was like i am so glad i did not try to play this game i would get frustrated and never beat it or you'd have to look stuff up and then look stuff up and be like oh my god why is it so horrible so i'm glad i got to watch other people 
who, you know, do that. Like, I'm glad I accidentally watched it and it turned out that it was that kind of game. I had no idea in advance. I wish to try all of the... Not two of these? All of the advanced technologies I get because my shield... Okay, so that one killed me. Did I? I did drop them. So that's something I added recently. Um, whoa. So did you see that? I think I've discovered a weird bug. Yeah, look, that was an advanced technology. What? Hey, I found a bug where I can duplicate <laughs> advanced technologies. Not that I would want to duplicate this one. It's awful. Oh, my God. I don't know how I would have ever discovered that bug. Um, that's why we're doing this, everybody. So, gosh, I don't know how that's happening, but duplicate inventory by dropping? Question, question, exclamation. It's some sort of reference problem. R references, or in other languages it would be pointers. I mean, it wouldn't be. References and pointers are still different things. Other languages would have pointers, and you might get this sort of issue with those, but there aren't pointers in C-sharp, because C-sharp is a nice language that doesn't make you make mistakes. Um, so it doesn't have pointers, because pointers are terrible. And I'm sure there are people who do like hardware programming who are like, no, it's pointers. I don't know. When, when you want to do like serious engineering type stuff, you use C and C sharp and pointers are your friends, or C and C++ and things. I think honestly just C. Uh, but if you want to code and not hate your life, you use a language like C sharp. Or I'm going to go ahead and say it, Java, even though I know Java is not super popular. Um, my experience with it was that it was always pretty, pretty all right. Ah, God, these guys. I need to stop being an idiot and not doing risky things. Like, it's just not worth taking the risk. He's going to come back. I can just, like, take it easy. Silly gnats. Uh, these guys used to always be black, but on planets where there isn't an atmosphere, so you just see the stars and it's black, that was real bad. <laughs> so I made it on plants without an atmosphere. These guys appear in white, and that makes them super visible. They still look weird to me, though. I feel like they look weird when they're white, but that's fine. Funny little gnats. I'm just used to them being little black dots because that's how they always were. Oh, yeah. See, it's not... No, we're just we're just leaving. I'm not going to deal with that. Anyway, so those are the uh, apparently the sorts of... Uh, I don't know. I used to have a disdain <laughs> for those who would watch Let's Plays. And here I am making one now. Um, good, I found an extra fuel. Oh my god, it's cool, we're not dead. Um, but yeah, then I ended up watching... Oh, what was the first Game Grumps thing? I started watching it because he did a series years and years and years ago called Sequelitis, the, one of the guys who, who does Game Grumps. Um, and Sequelitis is amazing. It, it looks at game design stuff. Um, I like how games teach you through you just playing and showing you things and, and you know um, the the big example and I, I think he's mentioned he thinks this was the best episode he did I think he mentioned that in one of the other ones but anyway it was about um sorry let me look at my equipment did those both get weakened somehow I, oh, I picked that up and it was already weakened that got weakened because I got damaged. This I picked up and it was already weakened. Let's make... I want to keep an eye on that in the future. Because now that something, you know, where an item got copied, I'm worried that maybe only one of them was supposed to get weakened, but somehow both did. But I'm pretty sure I just found it weakened. Um, anyway, recharge rate is halved. That's too bad. But this is better, so we're going to do it. Um, and I'm going to wait for the second weapon slot. And let's use a green one. Whoops. Sensors flicker. I'm, this is why we use them out here. I'll save the orange one until I've got more. Uh, let's not do lava, because lava's bad. Uh-oh. God. So, all I have for my previous efforts, I've skipped. This is my own fault, because I've skipped difficulty levels, and now I'm fighting a... Well, that looks really cool. Now I'm fighting a mean boss, and I have not had proper time to accumulate goods and, you know, equipment... And in fact, all I have accumulated is damage to my shield, so that it regenerates more slowly. But that's okay. We seem to be tearing through this all right. Good. Give me that. All right. So maybe that was not the best life choices. Anyway, yes, it was. So the Mega, the Mega Man videos, I think, or video, I think, 
he considers his best, and, and I think I would agree. Because um, it really gets into the awesome, although the Zelda one I liked a lot, and he did that more recently. Um, but it was all about, I don't know, he talked about this great example from the early Mega Man games where they show you these platforms where uh, they fall away, and you can see that like they're following a line. It's these platforms moving across an obvious line on the level, but there's breaks in the line, and when the platform moves over it, the platform falls away, and so, but then it comes back when it hits, you know, the solid part of the line again, and so you're like, aha, I need to be sure that, that I jump, you know, when I see that. And you see that before you're even on them. So it, it, they've set it up so that it comes at you, and you can see that this is what's going to happen. And then so when they throw it in later on in the level, you get the mean versions where now you're jumping from the platform to platform on these lines that sometimes break and now there's enemies to shoot but they told you you know they did they did their part they they showed you the mechanics you needed to know before you had to deal with them in in a bad situation so that so that because if they hadn't done that and just thrown you into that you'd be like well shit i didn't know the platform was going to fall away you know <laughs> like that's not my fault this game is just messing with me um I become self-conscious when I swear. I don't know how much swearing is appropriate. Uh, anyway, because I don't care, but other people might. Anyway, um, so so yeah, that was really fantastic, and, and I was really wanting... Then he did the Zelda one, and you know, it worked. His sneaky trick worked. If he wanted to get more people watching Game Grumps, and that was the true reason he made another sequelitis, it 100% worked, because now I watch Game Grumps. Um, I want to know if that's what was going on now, because actually I'll feel kind of cheated, but is it okay because again they're they're pretty fantastic um yeah so games i would never want to play and games that have cool ideas in them if i played minecraft still i might look Ugh, why did i could have gone around why did i do that why didn't i just go around i could ah, gosh because i'm a crazy fool you've never you let's see increased okay let's see a temporary shield i love that and i'm fast you just go so fast the camera can't even keep up that's a known issue, and one that I keep not fixing, and I just, like, grabbed for my pen so excitedly that... Ah, it's done. I knocked it off the desk. Come here, pen. All right. So, yeah, we'll call that UI work. Um, camera can't always keep up. And it should. It needs to just, like, I don't know, if the ship is going above a certain speed, it just needs to, I don't know, match that speed or something. Um... Or always build up to the camera speed. What's it doing now? I don't know. Anyway, looks like... Oh, nope. We haven't been down here yet. Ta-da. Good, because maybe it'll be an awesome weapon or a new shield that doesn't have a horrible... Yeah, the regen rate on that shield halved is really bad. Having your things weakened is really bad. All right. So that's what we got here. Whoa, three new shields. All right, 55, real fast. I mean, relatively... Certainly compared to this, which... So it's actually one every 0.66 seconds, which is awful. These are the same, so I don't need both of them. Unless one becomes damaged. Mm -hmm. But let's throw away this one for sure. I don't know. You know, anything is going to be better than what I had before. I'm just going to go for faster. And let's see what kind of new armors I got. Right, regenerating, because that boss that I beat up, he always drops regenerating armor. Um... Which is better than my super damage armor, which we will also throw away. Yeah, we don't need blueprints anymore. Once you pick up the blueprints, you don't need them. I feel like that's weird. Maybe I should make you use them. But then once you already have unlocked... I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. Because you unlock them permanently for all future ships. It's, it's that kind of thing. Um, once you've already unlocked them, it just shouldn't give them to you anymore. That's what it should be. I should not keep giving them to you. It should just give you something else. So let's write that down. Um, I'm running out of space on this paper, and I didn't think I was going to be taking notes. In the, why? Why am? Why? Why do I do these things to myself when I could be using? I always want to call it Word, but it's Open Office. Um, so what do we have so far? Let me let me copy down these notes. Um, let me pause the video. You don't want to watch me write notes. All right, I'm back. So here we go. I have written. These are my notes, and I will will go over to them when we need them again. All right, so I do not have a second weapon yet, which means I'm inclined to get something cheaper. What's this next level? It's just a desert. Um, let's get alien scanners. I don't know if it's a good choice, but it's a choice, so we're going to make it. All right, 
And then if I get a weapon here... Oh, there's another mini boss. Well, I have a good shield now. Also orange, just like me. I want to make a shield that um, that cycles through colors in the same way that your weapon bullets can. This gun does not do that. It's apparently just white bullets. There's only weapons that are rainbow, where every bullet fired is the next in, you know, cycles through the colors. It's super pretty. I like to have shields that do that, too. I think that would be really neat. And um, I don't know, just for looks. Why not? But you could do things with it. I was thinking of making a blessing for shields that's like... See, I just don't know how I would make it clear or something you could really work with so much as just being bizarre and why did I do that. Um, but a shield where it prevents more damage the closer its color is to the color of the bullet that hit you. Um, what was that? What was that? Is there like an enemy behind there? Anyway, um... Yeah, so I don't know, that would be kind of funny to have a, uh, you know, a shield that's like, it's purple, so it blocks bullets that are, you know, the more purple they are, you can just compare the hue and everything. There's there's actual a formula, I looked this up because I was thinking about doing this, there's a crazy formula for determining the distance between two colors. Um, but uh, th then if you had a shield that changed colors that was rainbow, that'd be, wow. <laughs> yeah, that makes it even crazier. Um, Oh, man, look at you. You're making me slow. Stop, stop. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. That was the thing I was thinking of doing. I haven't done either of those things yet. I don't know about the, um, I don't know, reduces damage if the colors are similar, because that's not something you can really control or think about. I don't know. I mean, I guess for some of the mini bosses, they actually have fixed colors, whereas if you'll, uh, I should let these enemies shoot. These guys are always white. So, I mean, there are some things that are fixed, so that would be interesting. Maybe that would be more interesting than I... I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'll at least do the thing for prettiness. I have zero objections to doing things for prettiness. Um, but if I'm going to make a mechanic, like, you, you know, you should be able to use it and think about using it. And, you know, it should add a meaningful decision. It shouldn't just be... You know, if, if, if it was like... If the bullets were always random... And they mostly are, so I'm thinking it still might, you know, still might make this a bad idea. But, and, and the shield reduces damage based on the color. If you can never think about that, then it might as well just be a shield that says reduces all damage by, you know, the average that you would probably reduce by, like, you know, reduces all damage by 10% because the reduction ranges from 0 to 50 or something, but, you know, you're usually not the same color. So it turns out you block on average 10%, so we might as well just have the shield say blocks 10% because you're not actually going to think about the colors because the payoff is too little because they're random all the time and you're not really going to change your mind on a split second based on what someone's damage is uh, or what the color of their bullet is. Does that make sense? I worry now that I'm thinking about all the noises I made that they weren't the most useful of words. Um, but something like that. I hope that made sense. Yeah, it's 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 stupid to add a weird mechanic if, if it's not something you can actually think about and play with and make decisions uh, based on. So... Let's see if I picked up a new weapon. I didn't. Well, is this a new shield I like? Resist 50% of damage resulting from weapons. Yeah, that's another another uh, place where we need to translate. Resist X percent of damage resulting from weapons. That's another one. And that is, it takes a, a number, so it's actually a function. Uh, the language... I've got language classes, and they have both strings that are fixed and then functions that return strings and take, you know, because I can't just have you drop in a number in some languages. You might, you know, numbers might go in different places, but, you know, or, or whatever. So uh, I have those be functions, especially when there's two numbers. Anyway, uh, soft shield does not protect from collisions. So soft shield is really how good do you think you are at this video game? Um, I'm going to say not that good and go for... Exactly the same shield I already have. Uh, I also got new armor. Whoops. More regenerating armor, right? Because I killed another of the same bosses, and it was a higher level, so it's a better one. But I will keep the old one just in case. Although, how's my inventory looking? All right. Well, we don't need that. Reveals new upgrade if you get shielded core, right? Which, again, I already have. I wonder if... Like, again, the moment you pick it up, it it either needs to not go in your inventory at all, Although you might be interested in reading it, 
see that's the big thing you want to be able to read it especially if you're new and you have not played before when you pick it up you you want to look at it and be like oh that's what that item does i had no idea um but then it's going in your inventory and all you do the best thing to do when you pick up a blueprint is throw it away because now that you have seen it you're done so i don't know maybe i should make you use it or maybe maybe you should have to use it but not when you're on a planet so you know you have to you have to accept the the inventory space to carry it off of the planet and then you can use it i'm going to do that i'm going to do that so uh blueprints don't auto unlock content you must use them uh, but they cannot be used while on a planet okay um let's see what that does when we're on the level because many of their effects are more important on a level and i don't know i don't i'm just gonna save them i guess i mean getting thrusters one is actually useful let's get thrusters one it's useful and right we can't go that way so we go this way Oh, it's not the whale. I, I was hoping because it's a water planet that we would have the whale. Uh, someone's shooting and he's shooting slow bullets. All right. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> he's starting to generate pieces. All right. Yeah, I do. I, sh I stop so quickly. It, it almost feels weird to stop that quickly, but no, it's good. That's exactly what that upgrade's for. The effect is exaggerated because I'm in water. There's more resistance, so... Um, yeah, let's just go around and see what we can find, like this. An unidentified ship part. Was I talking about anything before I started writing notes? I don't remember. And if you do, you can't tell me. Sorry, it's the nature of time. Unless you can travel through time, in which case... Don't waste it on that. <laughs> that would be a terrible use of your time travel abilities. Uh, bring super sweet technologies. What technology would you bring back? I think... I knew, why did I shoot? Why did I kill him? Why did I even bother? He wasn't blocking anything. The chances he gives me loot are low, and even... I just see the enemies and I feel compelled to fight them. I'm terrible at roguelikes. Like, for realsies, roguelikes. I call this roguelike very loosely. Um, for realsies, I, oh, because I, I make the same stupid things. Like, oh, so you, it's an enemy. you got to kill it. No. You fight strategically, and I have placed the same sorts of mechanics in this game. You will not be penalized if you skip enemies. Um, even in ways that you don't know, you won't be penalized. So let me tell you a little secret. Um, enemies do not have items that they drop. When you kill an enemy, the level decides whether or not it's going to put a drop where that enemy used to be. So, and it's, it's counting. It, there's a little counter inside, so like... If the next enemy you kill is going to drop an item, it doesn't matter which enemy is the next enemy. It can be any next enemy. Almost. Some enemies just don't trigger that, like the um, little uh, gnat things that are black or sometimes white, as we saw earlier. Uh, those can never drop anything, and they aren't worth points. They're just obnoxious. Uh, but for the most part, yeah, don't kill an enemy that you don't want to. There is zero reason to do so. The only disadvantage, there actually is a disadvantage now, as of recently, and I had not thought about this. This is why it's great to talk about things to other people. Uh, is that every time an enemy is spawned, it's a little bit longer until the next enemy is spawned. And a little... <laughs> I, I don't know, I thought about how I said that and it sounded ridiculous in retrospect. But, uh, yeah, yeah, it's a little bit slower. And the reason it does that is to discourage you from hanging out on a level forever trying to farm... Uh, for items and uh, points. Particularly, particularly uh, because the longer you stay on a level, the more points you lose. I, you may have seen that on the scoring thing. I took 6 minutes and 14 seconds, therefore I lose 374 points. It's the number of seconds. So maybe it should just tell you how many seconds you took. Well, the answer is you took 374 seconds, so I don't know. There you go. Um, I think. Does that math work? Because it might actually be one every two no, I, I normalized it, because now we have this difficulty modifier. You can see 25%. I'm only getting 25% of the points. And that is because I've t chosen to take a longer route. You get less points for taking longer routes, so that hopefully it averages out to the same in the end. Oh, I never used this thing, because I'm a fool. All right, we don't need that adaptive software thing anymore. We don't want that, because it's awful. Destroys all... Eh, no. I mean, yeah, but we're not going to use it right now. 
I cannot find a new weapon. They're one of the more common things. I'm just super unlucky. When this shield gains a temporary shield, that temporary shield is 50% stronger. Nice. Uh, resist damage from collisions. Also nice. I think I want the overcharge, though. I think that's even nicer. Yeah, it's, it's too much to think about. And we also have new armor, right? Because all we do is kill those guys. Same difficulty level. That's true. The This level and the previous level were the same uh, difficulty level. That's what happens when you take a longer route. You don't uh, increase the difficulty as much. That's a hidden... It's kind of hidden. I don't know. I, I, I don't necessarily feel bad about that. Uh, let's just go ahead and buy it. Unless there's something else I think I would want. When you receive a temporary effect that increases movement speed, weapon speed, or shield recharge, the duration of that effect is tripled. That's kind of cool. Enemies have a chance to drop, drop scrap. I just realized a thing. I don't like scrapping because it ends up repairing hull and things. It makes it very easy. But if picking up scrapping, picking up scraps gave you a temporary shield, that almost goes with the name better and it wouldn't be too powerful. I feel like it's too powerful. That's part of why it costs two, but I still don't like it. I don't know why I just thought of that just now. Things happen in brains, and it's great. Um, I don't know what we even call this. I don't know. I guess it's upgrades. Um, change scrapping to grant temporary shield. Uh, allow it to increase temporary shield with decreasing effects. So I know that might not make much sense. So, and I don't know how I'm going to word that, but what I'm thinking is when you pick up a scrap, the way that temporary shields work is if you gain, like, a 50-point temporary shield. If you then gain another 50-point temporary shield, it it says, okay, 50 is less than or equal to 50, so I'm just not going to give it to you. So if you picked up, like, say you have a 50-point temporary shield and you pick up a 20, it says, no, the 50 is better relieving that. But if you picked up a 60 or even a 51-point temporary shield, it would say, oh, that's better, I'll replace your, your previous shield. So it's always a replacement keeping the better. Um, so if scrapping just gave you a temporary shield, you would never get more out of it. So picking up multiple scrapping, and that would be kind of lame. So I feel like scrapping should be weird, where you gain a temporary shield, but then you would get like a slightly bigger temporary shield the next time. And maybe there's a clever way to do that with math. Maybe I can say you get... Oh, but it has to be inverse, because the higher, the bigger your shield... It should be something like that. It should be like scrapping gives you a 20 point, you know, or let's say a 5 point. It would be something small because it's supposed to build up. So it gives you a 5 point temporary shield. Um, I guess you would just say, but it's less the more times. I don't know. I'm going to have to find some way to word it. Um, hopefully I can do so succinctly. Anyway, so did I get, let's get a second weapon slot. And because uh, I'm going to get that weapon eventually. Yeah, I'll figure out something. Or maybe I, I won't worry about it, and I'll just say, yeah, it just gives you a decent shield. Anyway, it will be funny if it gives you a temporary shield. I really like the... Oh, my God. Uh, fully... Well, our armor is regenerating, so we just have to not suck, and then <laughs> we'll be okay. Oh, God, now there's those bombers. Stop that, that... This is exactly where that Thrusters 1 is so helpful, because you stop almost instantly. Um, not so instantly that it would look bad, <laughs> is, is what I was going for. I didn't... If it was truly instant, the if it would just look jerky and weird, the animation. So there's a slight lag for that. Uh, those guys deal so little damage to run into. That's why I don't feel bad that they, you know, aren't worth points and never can trigger the level to give you an item. <laughs> to phrase it carefully. I almost ran into that other bug. Dashing denim. Oh, I picked up the, uh... See, this is what I'm talking about. Don't care, don't care, don't take up my inventory space. And now I got a green alien. Wait, I didn't even get one of the two things I dropped. That is so weird. I don't know what's going on. Oh, okay, I want to know. If I use one, I seem to have them all. Well, now my sensors get to be weird. No, stop being weird. I can't see anything. Ah, go away. Well, okay. Anyway, that's what the sensors thing does. I've, I've had so much difficulty thinking of a good sensor effect. I like it more initially than I do later on. Later on, it's just a weird growing black. But this initial, like, 
growing squares thing is, I don't know, I think it's a really cool effect. Oh, and then they're gone. I need sound effects also associated with that. Let's take note. I don't, I'm not considering that high priority, but um, sound effects associated with sensor scramble. And what I think it should be is a growing static that, you know, stops with, that, I don't know, ab ab abruptly stops with a pop or something. You know what I'm saying? So it'll be like, and it's gone. Something like that. I don't know if that made any sense or if that sounded awful. I'll apologize. But, whoa! I didn't see that fuel. I actually just like was like, oh, nothing down here. Uh, they have a glow around them. I probably would have noticed. I hope so. That's what that glow is for. Ah. Ah. All right. <laughs> it's possible that it's duplicating the last item selected or something weird like that. It, you know, like if I drop, let's try. So if I drop scrapping, will it create a swimming sheliac? Because that's the item now selected. You have to wait a couple seconds before it picks up again. Swimming sheliac. So if I drop this, okay, am I going to get a swimming sheliac? Who's that selected? Or am I going to get the previous one, which is the purple thing? What am I going to get? Swimming sheliac. Okay, so let's try this though. This, this. Now are both going to be the purple alien artifact, or is one going to be. Swimming Sheliac, Purple Alien Artifact. Weird. So maybe it's a copy of whatever is left underneath the cursor after you delete. And I could actually, that sounds really weird, but I think I can imagine why that's happening. I wrote the code for this semi recently. So I can almost picture the lines in my mind, but not quite. So I'll look at that. But something weird's going on. References. I'm really glad I found that because that would have been awful to release with. I released with some, so that's like awful in, like at least it's awful in a way where, I don't know, people can win the game and they weren't supposed to, whatever. But I've had, I mean, you know, I, it's not optimal, but that's not as bad as releasing where you can't beat the game because it you just get stuck after collecting the, the thing at the very end. Um, that was real bad, and I had a release that had that, and I fixed it, you know, in a day or two. But... I don't know how many people have downloaded it. Hopefully they didn't get very far, because that would be super frustrating. <laughs> um, and the problem is, you know, I probably could have found a way to fix it. But if you had saved there, you would have just been screwed. Like, that was one of the few updates where a save game was compatible between them. So if you had started a game and hadn't gotten to that point yet, you could download the newest version and... So I'm just disappointed at myself for running into that wall. Uh, you, you could load up your old saved game in, in that new version, and then you wouldn't have that bug later. But if you had already gotten to the end and were stuck loading up the game, you would still have been stuck. So anyway, I have explored everything. Just a uh, Let's go over there. I'm pressing X because I'm wishing <laughs> that I had the upgrade that makes you move real fast, but I don't. Engine booster, I believe. Uh, this way? I'm like trying to navigate by looking at the mini-map. Alright, yes, we have not been down here. And it didn't even matter. That's called negative possibility space. Another show I watch, which is about games but not about playing them, is Extra Credits, and Extra Credits is a fantastic show. Oh my god, the recent episode of Extra Credits, I don't remember what it was about, but what I do remember is uh, they always have a video game remix at the end. That's a terrible thing. I keep forgetting to use this. Um, that was, they open with like a, a remix of one of the Super Mario songs, and um, they close with like a random, you know, something different every time. And recently they closed with a remix by DDR Kirby ISQ, who's making all the music for Mysterious Space. I didn't even know that, uh, that he did, um, video game remixes. I, I don't know, I was like, what? And so I messaged him and told him, I was like, oh my god, I just saw that you're, yeah, I'm okay. I don't know, I, <laughs> I, I was all surprised about it um I, it, was, it was surprising anyway i'm getting pretty far this is exciting did i ever pick up yay i have a new weapon a bi die blaster i accept in a new shield regenerate is double if you haven't fired a weapon that's uh, that's actually pretty good i just have to remember not fire all the time it's so hard to decide between that and a bigger shield it's just always a little faster doubled is a lot i'm gonna try i'm gonna try because i never do and we'll see how it works. And if I die, then I'll be like, mm, bullshit, and I'll change it. And like, I don't know. That's not, I don't know. <laughs> uh, when you receive a temporary effect, 
Yeah, I don't have anything that just gives it to me. I'll just get it. I mean, it's useful. All right, which way are we going to go? The long way or the slow way? Let's check out Mining Worlds, because I tried to fix a bug here. And let's use this. Has the effect of a random alien artifact. Triggers any effect. So I don't know what it did to me. And that is a bug, but I don't know how to fix it yet. But I should know it anyway. Um, here we go. Uh, when using advanced tech that has random alien artifact effect, the alien artifact effect is not reported to you. Yeah, it needs to be. Pairs hold, destroys, fully restores, temporary shield. Oh, we can do that for, like, double the effect or whatever. Right? I'll be really sad enough I didn't do that. I got that upgrade, right? Pretty sure I got that upgrade. Yeah, 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 because it would not be that big. It wouldn't be your full shield, right? Oh, you'll do your main shield. Oh, it's duration. I'm confusing it with something else. There is, um... I'm confusing it with overcharged. Right, which I don't have anymore. Yeah, oh well. Yeah, this is the bug. I thought I had fixed it. So it's supposed to not place the mining tunnels under... Oh, God. Um, ooh. This weapon isn't always that fast. The, uh... Okay, I think the, the random effect was that I got super fast weapons. Um... Right, but I shouldn't shoot when I don't have to, because if I don't shoot for three seconds, my shield regenerate. But my shield isn't hurt, so who cares? Whatever, it's good. Again? It's supposed to not place them under underground like this. Um, and now this tunnel is probably just going to go all the way. But yeah, uh, I thought I had fixed this. It's such like an easy fix. The logic is not that hard, but apparently it is, because it's not fixed. And it happened twice on one level. I haven't seen that. Like, I feel like... Rarely it happens once on a level. Here's what they should look like. Let's go down into the horrible pit of goo. Oh, 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 oh. We have the upgraded four-way Fommel Hots. Oh, look, it's a random, or it's a rainbow gun. See, we're getting blue, purple, red. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I wanted to get above that guy because I don't want him above me. That's what. That's why these levels are so mean. Um... Things can come from above you in these shafts, and it sucks. Just checking out the, uh... I, I did a, th a thing where I coded, and I recorded it, where I added those pipes, and I said I was going to improve them, I don't, if, and I haven't, because I'm doing other stuff. So they still, I mean, I don't know, it's better than nothing. The pipes, I would like pipes going across the tunnels, probably. Um, oh, well, the fences are new. Um, oof, 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 oof. Uh, these fences didn't used to be here so I don't know I can't tell when I first made them I thought they looked super ugly and my friend at the time was like no they look good but you can't trust your friends because they won't give you an honest opinion um, <laughs> that is a truth of game design do not trust your friends opinions don't trust anyone's opinion because so if they're your, they're your friend okay people have biases already but also people don't know what they want I mean, it's just, people don't know, they don't know. I mean, if you asked a person what they want in a game like City Skylines, or let's say Sim City or something, or Diablo, or anything where there's money, players would say, I want more money. I wish the game just gave you more money all the time. That would be awesome. And you're like, no, you're wrong. It wouldn't be awesome. It would be sucky, and you'd hate it more because the game would be too easy and boring, and buying things wouldn't be interesting choices, and it would be a worse game. Um, and it's those sorts of things that players just don't know what makes a good game. They don't understand how their own brain works. Their own brains work. And it's not a problem. I don't understand how my own brain works either. Um, but so the real way that you get information from humans is that you observe them. And if you were awesome in a huge company, you would observe them uh, by taking stats. I could take stats in the game too. But like, I, sh I could be. I could be taking stats on what is the enemy, what are the enemies on screen when players die. You know, give me a list of all the enemies on the screen. Um, and then you can measure that and see what are the enemies that are killing everyone, or what are the upgrades that no one ever buys. Let's see what has no effect. Great. Another advanced technology. Let's use it. Slows all enemies for 10 minutes, seconds. Well, there's no enemies. Yeah, I mean, you can do everything. What upgrades do people never get? What types of weapons do people never equip? Um, you wouldn't know why, but at least you could know and you could start, you could, you could try and think, well, why? You know, why might they not be taking these? Um, but yeah, if you ask people, they're not going to necessarily know those things. Um, They'll, they'll probably know some, but they won't know as much because they're not... Another problem with, with brains 
is that we f we remember um, outstanding events uh, we think of as happening much more than common events. So like even if you always die to the spiky guys, say on the first level, those guys routinely are killing people. It's routine, so you don't think about it. But like that one time that you fight, or or maybe every time you fight a whale, it kills you. But but you're like, man, th that whale, he's so hard, he's always killing me. And you look at the numbers and you're like, yeah, the spiky guys are like always killing you, actually. But, but you don't think about it because it becomes a common event. Um, so so that, that is another struggle when dealing with human brains. And it's why people will be like, I always worry about this stuff happening to me too because I know that my brain has, everyone's brain has these problems. You can't get away, even if you know. Knowing helps some things, but does not help all of them. But another an example I remember reading about was, you know, if you go to a grocery store one time and the line is like super crazy long, you're gonna be like, oh, that's super long lines. Why are there always long lines? It's like th there aren't. That was that one time, but that's the time that you choose to remember because it stands out. Most of the time, everything is fine, but you remember the the times that things were bad, or or different in some way. If it was awesome, you'd be like, oh, it was so cool, and then you'll think that you should always go there, and you in fact should. Um, so yeah, brains are bad. Brains are bad. That's the moral of the story. Uh, fires four bolts per second in random directions. Each bolt is super weak. Whatever. I Integrated shield is hard for me to think about. I don't know if that's pro-equipment or just bad equipment. That's something else that I will never be able to measure. Um, I, I, I don't know how the guys, like the designers, the developers of um, like League of Legends, like if I play one of these hard to play characters, yeah, I'm gonna suck. I'll completely suck. I, there's people, there are characters, I'll, I'll just go ahead and say, like like Riven. If you, if you know the game, then you know. Riven, people are amazing with Riven. And I don't know how. I want to be, but I just don't know what they do differently. But they just completely destroy you. And I'm just like, what, how did, how did they do that? I'm not that good at the game. I'm not good in whatever way. I don't even know what to do to be better. It's so much, I've even like read shit online and be like, what should you be doing with this character? But there's I don't know so so it's interesting and and there's similar things here where I feel like maybe you know maybe integrated shields like amazing and overpowered but I just don't think of using them and so I don't know and and that would be another place or collecting stats that is exactly what League of Legends does is they collect crazy tons of stats they they have to do I know for a fact have I been told no do they yeah they do you don't have to be told you know that they do of course they do that's what you do that's what you do when you're making a game and I, maybe it's something I'll look at, into doing in the future. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, I'm like rambling like crazy here. Um, change orientation when firing. Let's do it. I always forget. Um, so while firing, I can tap the shoulders. Or if I was using the keyboard, is it space or tab? I forget. Um, changing directions. It is real useful, and I know it's useful, and I forget, and it drives me crazy. Because I never have to stop shooting now. Which means it's a good thing I didn't get integrated shield. Does that mean the integrated shield and this thing are... You know, uh, oh God, what's the, what's the opposite of oh my God? <laughs> the opposite of synergy. Um, let's repair my hole. I think everything else is going to be okay. I just have to not like. That was the worst possible way to hit those guys. All right. That's funny that his stationary bolts getting carried by the wind. That makes him a little less threatening. Oh, we've got upgraded. Um, this is pretty strong wind. Upgraded. Uh, this guy. Oh, I didn't even notice that these bullets are the um, the the fragmenting kind. They get more dangerous later on. Yeah, I mean, we're getting near. I don't usually get this far. I was worried I'd made the game harder with the addition of, like, broken... <gasps> I did get disabled. <sighs> His armor's damage is only providing half. Yeah. Okay. I didn't notice because I was too busy going... <gasps> what was happening to me? Don't want that. Destroys all enemies. Doubles the firing rate. Adds a temporary. Let's add a temporary shield because apparently things are hard. Destroys enemies. Five. Okay. Temporary shield. Okay. Oh. Give me this. I want to take those. They're bugged. I want to cheat. <laughs> also, the things I threw away I don't want. But apparently one of them is going to be something from my inventory. Yeah. Yeah, where's my little uh, shield bullets? There they are. Four per second, apparently. One, one thousand. I believe it. Whatever. Computer's better at counting than I am. Brains are bad. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, screw you, guy. Huh. 
I don't know what I was looking at. Anyway, um, I thought something weird was happening. I, I think it's the um, woo. it's the bullets being shot off from my shield. Sometimes the bullets from my gun are very similar in color, and it weirds me out on what my bullets are doing. Yeah. Anyway, lime green. Well, let's see. Oh no, because I got the upgrade to use them all. Deals you. Oh, good. Let's get rid of that. We've already experienced that. Not only does it work, I don't want it. Inverts controls, no thank you. Oh, gosh. Oof, 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 oof. Those guys are really mean. Fully repair, speed increase, doubles firing rate. Is there like equipment I would get rid of? Whoops, no, I mean it would say new. Gosh, so I'm just running out of equipment space, so I have to decide. This is what the game was supposed to do. Because I didn't like that you just pick stuff up and never think about it. And now it's like, I want to pick it up. Fine, let's double my weapon's firing rate. Ooh, advanced technology. Oh, I didn't go all the way down. I got distracted. Yeah, fuel. See that glow? That's what I'm talking about. Boop, 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 boop. Ha! Ha! <laughs> okay, so the way that those gnats work is that they spawn around pickups. They spawn around player pickups too. That's either awesome or bad. I'm gonna go for awesome. Ugh, tell me what it is. Tell me what it is. All right. Um, UI. Even. Um, let's see. When you can't pick up an item, tell the player what that item is. Ex. Uh, inventory is full. You know, blue alien artifact or whatever. Yeah, because I want to know, do I want to pick that up, or is it one that I, you know, if I pick, if I was looking at it, well, I wouldn't even know what the effect is. That would be interesting if you could see the item on the ground from this menu somehow. I don't know. Well, let's just, I don't know. I mean, yeah, let's get myself. Advanced technology, good. So those all, fine. And that'll be useful against bosses, not so much against, uh... Ooh, fuel. Thank you. Bosses can be affected by, like, the destroys everything on the screen, which I'm considering moving off of potions. They're not potions, they're alien artifacts, but I don't, I don't know, I'm not super thrilled with them there. Um, yeah, I don't know, I feel like it makes more sense as an effect, because again, I am thinking of them as being analogous to potions in a roguelike, and potions do things that affect only yourself. I don't have to, you know, clearly I don't have to follow their formula, but I think it does help to add, um, you know, distinctive, to make the items distinctive. These ones always affect you personally, these other ones might, but they also just affect everything. Um, I think it's interesting to have that difference, and it gives a flavor to them. Uh, and, and something to be, you know, I don't know, to, to actually be able to, to look at the items and decide how important they are to you. Sector complete. All right, so did I pick up any equipment? No, I do have an upgrade. I don't, I almost want more carrying capacity now. If it was more than, see, that's not like, if it was more than plus one, I would do it. And I have worried that the plus one is not enough, and I wonder if I should make it plus two. But just because I want it does not mean it's the right thing. <laughs> we were just talking about this. Fast mover through liquids. Uh, you could technically... Should I write this down as a UI thing that it's too long? I don't know how to fix it. I'm just going to leave it. I'm not even going to care right now. I can say super repellent surface. Um, <clears throat> While reviving damage, he was halved. I'm scared for my life, so I'm going to get it. <laughs> Sure. All right. Let's just go. Sector nine, or not sector, but inventory is full. Whatever. We can come back to it. Oh my God! There's so many items. There's so many items, and I can't have them. Yeah. And now that this is, see, I haven't tested. Now that that's true, I'm like, but I want to know. So here, those are the same advanced technology. Okay. Let's use it. Completely restructures your ship. Well, great. Now I'm a crazy ship. Well, the good news is this ship cannot have a third up uh, weapon slot. So that decision we have been spared. Oh, the hell! I forgot those guys shoot sideways. Jeez, that was bad. Um, can we rep repair my hull? Yes. A uh, new ship part. Shield, huh? Wee! 
All right, well, I got a uh, alien artifact polymorph, so that happened. Sure. Yeah, this ship is so fast. Oh, my God. Oh, no, there's the one. He shoots sideways. No, don't shoot sideways. You're really bad. You're really bad. You're really bad. Ah, oh, God, another one. Ugh. It's cool. We're cool. It's cool, bro. <laughs> What's this? No one knows. I wish I knew. But now I feel like I can't drop items because of this weird bug. Okay. No! I screwed it up. Well, now I'm going to have two speed increases. That's okay. I'll take this instead. I don't even remember what I dropped anymore. I could probably, like, pause, like, save, quit, fix the bug, load. Um, God, I'm really tempted to do so. Let's Let's do it. Let's do it, you guys. What was that game called? I hope it was for... We'll find out. So that bug is going to be in a place. Uh, dropper. What is that called? I don't know. It's in the inventory screen. Uh, menu. Inventory. And that's when you drop an item. I think I probably did call it drop. selected item that's the problem so refresh inventory item is going to realize that the select okay we just need to move that so this method right here refresh is going to change what item you have selected so, but oops what's confusing me is that it's a reference so i no using one doesn't use both because when you use one, you just remove that reference to that item. Yeah, it's weird. It is a copy of the item, but you're using a reference. You're using references to items and then relying on the garbage collection as you do. Anyway, I don't know if that made sense to you, but it made sense to me, barely. I mean, the explanation, if I, I don't know. The solution has made total sense to me. I don't know if I explained it in a way that would have made sense to anyone, including myself, is what I'm trying to say. This is to drop the item. So again, we want that to be there. Player inventory remove. Okay. So let's see. Let's see if that fixes it. I bet it will. <laughs> Hopefully the game window goes in the exact same place. That was good time to say that. <laughs> let's, uh... Mm, mm, I'll stop making that noise. There we go. All right. And I hope that this is my game. It should be an orange funny ship. Yep. Good. So let's try and drop a gray thing. And it should not be a pink thing. It should be the gray thing. Uh, don't, don't do that to me. Oh, God. Great, good. Gosh, yeah, I can't carry much stuff because I'm carrying so many. Let's do that. Good. I was a little afraid that my invulnerability was going <laughs> to wear out. Good, I just wanted to take them out. Those guys are real bad. Their bouncing bullets are real bad. Whoosh, the, the fast ship is... I don't know. It still stops fast, but it's scary navigating along these... Uh, things. I, that was partly the intention. Um, when I... Like that. Uh, when I was working on this game very long ago... Um, oh, gosh. What? What? <gasps> I... Because I used the polymorph self on this thing, right? That's a bug. So, that's a bug. Um, gosh, let me, let me take note of that first. So, I know exactly what's happening because I had a similar problem before. Uh, when you polymorph on a level, any uncollected uh, upgrade parts remain, uh, cannot be collected because they want a different ship. So the thing with upgrades, because there's co-op, in, in co-op, um, there's an upgrade placed on the level for each player. And so the up, the upgrade chip has a reference to the player that it wants, that it will allow itself to be picked up by so that the other player can't, can't take the upgrade. What that means is that it's still in memory now. The upgrade chip is holding on to my old ship. 
from before I was I was changed. Um, along with copies of references to all the items in my inventory <laughs> and everything else. Um, but anyway, so it's saying, hey, you're not that ship, therefore I refuse to be picked up by you. What I should probably do is make it... I should just make some internal ID number or something. I mean, I could also do it by name or color, actually. Color would, is probably the way to do it, because the colors of ships um, are forced to be unique. You can't have two ships of the same color in one game. So yeah, I'll just do it by color. That That is our unique ID already. We don't need to make an ID number. And that's why it displays, right? That, and it already has the color information. It's, it's using my color. Anyway, we can't pick up that. I don't... I don't... I don't. <laughs> ah, there's so many items. We can't pick them up. I am going to get more inventory space. Ooh, excuse me. Yawning. Oh my god, don't die. No! You're a bad ship. You were such a... Oh, no! My armor was destroyed. Well, on the bright side, we can now pick up items, because that... What? What? How did that not free up space? This armor is damaged. only providing... Uh, I don't know. Also, that was weird. Um, it's possible there's a bug preventing the destruction of, um, I can't tell if that's an old one. I can't tell. I can't tell. Um, bugs. When... A weakened arm uh, equipment is destroyed. Is it truly removed from inventory? And that might be actually what the problem is: is it's unequipping it, but then it's not removing it from your inventory. Anyway, so now I'm holding on to. It never breaks. I guess is what happens. Because it is destroyed, but not from all the places. References, man. Now they are getting me in trouble. All right. Uh, I can just drop it. Like, there's no reason to hold on to it. It's supposed to be destroyed, so we'll, you know, be an honest player or whatever. I don't know. Gosh, so many items. We haven't had many enemies on screen. Where are they all? Not having armor is bad. I feel like I probably shouldn't hang around, but... Well, I heard a guy shooting something. Yeah, whatever. Let's get out of here. Gosh, this, fat, this ship is so fast. All right. Yeah, that's a UI bug, too. Didn't that happen earlier? And I... Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, that's going to remain. Um, good. Let's equip some old armor. Let's check out these new shields. Hard shield. 60 or 64. Whoa. Look how fast that regenerates. I just like it. I like, okay, that's not much slower, but it's like the same reason that 99 cents looks better than a dollar. 0.1 looks better than 0.13. And there's nothing else, so it just has like this elegant sort of look. You're like, what does it do? It's just fast. No, there's no, no funny business, just fast. <laughs> that's really good. I'm going to uh, hopefully enjoy that shield. And let's see what sort of weapons we have. This is another bug I don't know what to do about. <laughs> the whole item description not fitting. Um, anyway. Two bullets side by side. Hmm, why do I keep yawning? Well, let's at least, we'll replace this one. God, it's so much faster. They deal less damage, but they bounce off walls. That's going to be good. Let's do it. Um... Right, and I wasn't able to pick up the thing because of bugs. And I should throw away old equipment. <sighs> for the sake of inventory space, I can pick up six items. There are more than six items per level. Ah, but we get to win. Well, we don't get to win. I have not made it to this point in a long time, actually. So I'm now halfway through the game. Yeah, let's scan this thing. It makes funny little noises. Tick, tick, tick. Yeah, you scan that thing. Alright. Come to me. Alright. 
Now let's get out of here. We can go any direction we want. Um, I don't know. Let's go. Let's go a different path back just for fun. Yeah, check out those. <gasps> oh, I thought they were both rainbow. I was gonna be real excited. Oh, that's just the wiggle. I was like, do I see? Ooh, ooh, an upgrade. Yeah, see, I can upgrade. I can grab upgrade parts, just not if I polymorph, as I'm calling it, because again, roguelike. Oh my goodness, I don't know how I didn't get hit by those. Those guys are so bad. At least I can shoot up that way. <laughs> oh, that. Did you see that? Because it's shooting the bolts in the ground. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, anyway. I'm picking up a lot of stuff. Don't, don't give me that. Don't give me that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, come here and die. Oh, this is so much better. The, a hail of bullets. It's great. Barely dodged that bullet. All right. Pew, 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 pew. Sorry, that's the noise that it makes. <laughs> it's just like I just recorded me going pew, pew, pew. No, that's not true. I did make a game a long time ago where I did record the sounds. Um, and partly I was doing that to be true to the original game. I made a remake of uh, Crystal Quest, which is a super old uh, Mac game, like black and white. Uh, not like Apple IIe's, but an actual Mac Um and it was a great game. Uh, there were PC clones. I forget what those were called, but I made a uh, a PC clone of my own in like Allegro or something. I don't know. I think it was. It probably ran in DOS. Did it run in Windows? I think it ran in Windows. I lied. I don't think it was a, a console program. Anyway, uh, the original game was super indie, I guess. I mean, most games back then were because like you had like two or three people who ever made a thing, or one guy in a lot of cases. Um, and this was one of those games, and it was the guy just making noises for the sound effects, so I did that for mine as well, also because that's an easy way to make noises. So it was very convenient. Yeah, I was saying that that's why I chose to, to do sounds myself is, you know, not completely, completely accurate. There, it was a happy coincidence, probably more than anything. That's, that's out there somewhere on the internet. I actually had to find it again. I didn't have it on my computer, and I wanted it. Um, it was for retroremakes.org, I think was the site. And they still have... You can't download the games individually, but you can download, like, all the entries for a given year or something. Um, and so I was able to get my game that way. I remember there were performance issues on computers of the day. It was in two, you know, early 2000s, so uh, when I was in college. Um... So, you know, what was even out? When Was Windows XP? Yeah, because two... I don't know. I was probably running Windows 2000. Anyway, so, yes, it, computers were not as good then, so you could probably uh, run it just fine. Um, but it was my fault. There were inefficiencies because I was too lazy to do things the right way. Uh, fortunately, XNA does all these things, sorts of things for you. Um, hang on, uh, like the wrangles, rectangles update, it doesn't matter. So let's see, shield, 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 shield. Oh, it's strictly better. I like strictly better. We can get an upgrade. I'll probably save up for scrap. Let's pick, let's get more inventory space. I want, I keep complaining about it. Let's get more inventory space. And let's drop old items. Yeah, I don't, you know, I'm not going to, I mean, if it became damaged, if it became damaged, I would go for the integrated shield. So there you go. I've never found an accessory? That's not cool. How have I not? Uh-oh, there's a boss. He's on the map. All right, let's go see who this boss is. Oh, God. <laughs> Bees. Bees. Ugh. Gosh, look, oh my god, that, did you see that shield regen? Jesus, that's absurd. It's almost cheating. So I'm going to keep shooting. Nope, nope, you're a bad thing. Is that boss moving? I guess not. He will eventually, right? Or is it the, uh, the factory? It's a factory, oh god, with the bullets. Okay, um, Jesus, destroy everything on the screen. Restore my shields. Slow all the enemies. Double my firing rate. Please die. 
please die. Yes. Okay. So that required a little cheating knowledge on my part. Oh, oh my god. No, no, I beat the boss. Don't kill me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Destroy everything. Um. <laughs> Wow, okay, sorry, let me talk. Um, so yes, that was some cheating on my part. I happened to know that destroying everything on the screen does not work against that boss. It doesn't not work entirely. It kills half of his health. That's so cool with my double fire rate. Um, so I knew it was going to take half his health. I knew it wouldn't kill him utterly. Uh... Oh, God. And see that there's nothing that tells you that in the game. I don't know if a number goes over his head. It might. It probably should have, and I didn't see. Because those go pretty quick, right? You're not going to see that coming out of the menu. I have to think about that. Hitting those guys is real bad. Um. Anyway, so I was... I, but it kills all the... Uh, woo! All the missiles. Did you see? I kind of freaked out there. I almost didn't dodge his bolts. Um, yeah, getting rid of all those homing missiles on the screen. They're really hard to see, right? I need to make those more visible, and I'm going to take a note of that. Um, homing missiles from manufactory need to be more visible. That might mean putting like a white border on them or something, something to make them stand out. In much the same way I do, right? My shield makes me really stand out. Oh, God. I don't know why I keep yawning. I didn't sleep a whole lot a couple nights ago. It's supposed to take like a week to recover from... That's why you're supposed to get your sleep. Because <laughs> if you don't, it's going to be like a week of tiredness. Um... Da, 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 or, yeah, just like reduced performance, I think, more than anything in general. Anyway, do I go behind these plants? I love when I go behind the plants. Yeah, 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 I go behind trees. <laughs> All right, I'm doing really well. I have not won the game in a very long time, and I'm feeling closest to winning. It gets easier after a point because there are no more super hard um, things. What's this do? Generates damage, resists strong winds. Up to plus seven percent movement speed. The less shield remains, the lower these bonuses. Wait, really? Resist strong winds and other pushing forces by up to fifteen percent. Up to plus seven percent movement speed. I see. So the more she right, 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 right. Gosh, I forgot. I coded that. I didn't even remember I coded that. Um, oh, but there's also ninety. While the shield is empty, your weapon's fire rates are doubled. The fire rates are doubled for minimum duration of one second. We can do that. That sounds better. Faster is good too, though. Huh. It's hard to think about. Oh, that's too bad. It's still awfully fast, it seems to me. Um, yeah, let's save up for scrapping. Can't believe I still haven't. I always worry that I cannot get accessories, you know? That, like. Wait, you are slow. I don't want that. <laughs> All right. On our way. Oh, good part. I wonder how long this video is gonna turn out to be. <gasps> you're bad. You're you're bad. You're bad. You're bad. You're bad. I just don't. I just don't. I just don't want it. Please go away. Those guys can really seriously mess you up. I why? That's another thing of where I like. I went down there and I shouldn't have. I should have waited for him, or something. Patience is an option. In this game, we're not gonna deal with you. You see the little smiley face bullets? He fires all sorts of weird bullets that... Because he's using the RNG gun, and the RNG gun is the only gun that can shoot. I don't know, there's like a couple bullets that only it can shoot. I think a big X shape and a smiley face. Never use this. Permanently increases hole strength. I... Thank you. There's a very nice... Those are the more powerful things I'm talking about. Adaptive software already have. Double shield regen, fully repairs hole. That's fine. Although my hole is reduced right now, right? Yeah, I can't see that when we're on space. That seems like a problem as well. And probably um, the border just needs to not be black, or the inside needs to be dark gray or something. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Again, 
not worth <laughs> we're going around I don't even know how if that's good or not is it sure it is have an enemy that you just shouldn't fight that's a good lesson that's a lesson you are supposed to learn in a lot of roguelikes that I never learn is that you do not have to and should not fight every enemy even when it's easy because you've got the whole like food clock um, which is the general term uh, you know where you're getting hungry and so you can starve I missed a fuel you guys probably saw it and I was like talking at the time um, hmm well, it's hiding behind a rock? Maybe it was hiding behind a rock. I don't know. Let's go around the level again. Apparently I missed it. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, you get hungry and die, and so fighting enemies takes time, and so time time is a resource, so you, you shouldn't fight sometimes because it will take time, and time is something you not have all of. In um, Faster Than Light, I, which I'm talking about, so I said food clock, that's a general term. In Faster Than Light, the food clock, in quotes, is that the rebel fleet is advancing, so you can't explore the whole sector because, you know, for the same reason you shouldn't fight every enemy necessarily in a roguelike, you should not go to every sector in Faster Than Light, because time is a factor in, in, a, in a way, not time time, but, you know, turns or whatever. Um, so, there is nothing like that in uh, mysterious space which is fine I don't think that's a problem again this is a roguelike only loosely oh look there's a little bit I haven't been down I bet there's a fuel down yeah <laughs> hooray it's always better it's always a relief to know that there's always a fear you know in my mind it's like oh god did it like try to generate a, bo a mini boss but fail but because it tried it didn't put the fuel you know something like that but no it was fine it was just me being stupid. <laughs> that's that's better. That's, I prefer that. Um, let's see what else we got here. Uh, whatever. Desperate shield. Again, I'm not a pro player. Apparently, that's what integrated shields are for, in theory. I don't even know if that's true. Um, eh, gosh, it regenerates so much faster. I can't decide anything. I'm just going to stick with what, I, with what I know. Rapid fire heavy trail destroyer. I don't want that. And no accessories. All right. Scrapping, which doesn't work the way I'm going to recode it to work. Yeah, the things that drop should totally be um, for your temporary shield. That would be good. I, I love... I think I started to say this, but didn't finish it before. I love the temporary shield mechanic because oof, that'll regenerate shields. God, that's a lot. It's, it's like that's too good. It's too good. Um, it's a great mechanic for the things to hook into. Like it's funny that I go faster than these bullets. Someone told me that I should make it so that the bullets fire, like they your velocity is, is carried into them. I just need to try it and see how I think it looks. I'm not sold on the idea, but I haven't tried it, so can't judge. <laughs> um, but yes, I like that it's a it's a great place to just hook other things into, like the shield that says you get you know 50% stronger temporary shields, or you know I don't know just uh, all kinds of things. This is a great place to hook in other mechanics, uh, making things that yeah. Now now you know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's, it, I hope that made sense because I can't think of anything else to say, especially when I'm fighting. Do not want. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. Why not? You know, this is again. I'm not using them. Let's increase my movement speed because exploring these things takes forever. Nailed it. Good. Uh, I still seem to be moving real fast. 10 seconds is a lot longer than I thought. Is that actually 10 seconds? <laughs> or am I back to my normal speed and I just think it's so fast because I'm used to the stupid ship, the default ship? Oh, nope, now I'm slowed down. Man, was that a long 10 seconds? Do I have another one of those? I want to count that. There's a timer. It's not going to stay open. Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to count. Here. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, 
six one thousand, seven one thousand, eight one thousand, nine one thousand, and ten one thousand. Huh. I don't know. I think that might be more than ten seconds. Do I? Because I have adaptive software. It's three times the length or something crazy, right? So I get like 30 seconds out of it. That's amazing. That's why you get that upgrade. Also, it helps to remember. Something I've wondered about is showing you the upgrades you've already acquired. Um, it just seems kind of annoying to have them because... Uh, Man, why am I kicking ass this game? Um, I just, I, I like, I, my shields were full, but I mean lava, so you know when you take damage, they don't regenerate. Anyway, I took that damage on purpose. Uh, what was I even saying? Oh yeah, the uh, upgrades that kind of have like a level two version. I thought it would get too cluttered to leave behind all the old upgrades, but. Maybe they just should be put on the bottom or something. But yeah, not being able to see the upgrades you have. I uh, don't know. It would be useful to see them. Anyway, let's see what else we got here. Nova Shield. Nova. Man, this shield is just so good. It's because of the low... Like, look at how fast. 0 0.07 seconds is absurd. I'm going to get it. It's too crazy. And if I hate it, then we go back. It'll be fine. Uh, let's strengthen my hole. I want that carrying capacity. All right. No boss? Okay. I don't want to deal with you. I could probably have taken him out. Oh my god. See what I mean? And, they, and they're bouncy? They're real bad. Get out of here. Ah! I don't even know what I hit. Woo! These guys are everywhere. They're just not worth fighting. They're just not worth it. Blueprint shielded core. Don't care. Yeah, it really needs to not drop blueprints that you already have. I think orange... Wasn't that like yellow maybe is bad? One of them is bad. Oh! We never tested this fix! Ah, uh, gosh. Get above you. Okay. Um, inventory is full. Adaptive software. Okay, we'll drop that. And we'll drop the dashing denim. And I should not pick up an orange artifact from those two. Oh, gosh. This guy's going to make our life difficult. Okay. Dashing Denim. Adopt a software. There you go. Everything is awesome and fixed. Shield of Core. Yeah, that's why I dropped over there, too. Good. Can't believe I didn't test that earlier. I was like, no, it's cool. I got it. <laughs> it's probably fine. Man, work at work. Like, my real-life job, which is not making games. But still programming. We've been doing... Well, yeah, we've had this crazy de with this deadline. It's not crazy. Just the amount of work to do with, like, you know, it's one of those things. Anytime there's a deadline, right? That's like all jobs that have deadlines. Um, Got to work harder, work more, or both. Um, probably just more. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, I don't want that. And more is harder, so same thing. Yes. Um, we have testers who go through the site and test things. And they catch the sort of things that I know that they will catch that we will like the things like you know things where when you program i don't know if you've ever made a game or written a book or done anything creative you know that that you can get used to things that are wrong but but you just become used to them and you don't notice you're like that's just the way that i made it and so you just assume it's fine um until someone points it out and you're like no you're, you're totally right i knew that all along i had just become so used to seeing it that way that i didn't think about it anymore and that happens all the time so i expect testers to find that but they all but I, it's just on a level i would have never expected like they test things that don't even seem like something a real user would do and so that's why i wouldn't think to do them but they are bugs and a user might do that thing and it's good to get cleaned up but i so i don't know who's in charge of of telling them how to test but they're doing a good job um, cause yeah, they're finding all sorts of stuff. What's this do? Causes several enemies to appear nearby. See, that's why I should have used it on a planet, cause that's like, okay, maybe it's better that I use it in space, but it's more fun <laughs> if I use it. Sure. Let's just get points at this point. Let's just get points. Faster, better duel, sure. Less damage, two bullets with knockback. Uh, fires two bolts. Oh, one of them fires behind, though. I kind of like that, though. God, I wish I could have a third shit or a third weapon. 
Not third shift. Tiny. What? I've never received a shield with stats this absurd because I've not been this high level. It's a tiny shield, and tiny shields have like half capacity. It's a little more than half capacity and a little less than double the regen speed because I suspect it's going to be completely absurd. I just want to get hurt and see. Sorry, I started to listen to the music because I... What? Oh, God. Mm, I may have screwed myself. Okay, so you have... Ooh, look at that shield! That's unreal. <laughs> uh, I'm glad I didn't die. I was going to feel real bad if I did. Because I just wanted to test that thing. Double shield regen. We'll never need those! Oh, <laughs> uh, sure. Sweet, I got a temp shield. And is there a reason why it's so big? Because it's overcharged, overcharged, 70%. Gosh, that's crazy. Yeah, give me that, because it will repair my hole in armor because it's too good. That's, oh god, we don't want to go that way. Don't even care. <laughs> oh, also that's my uh, temporary shield. That was, ah, uh, Jesus. All right. <laughs> Nothing of mine is damaged, is it? it uh, yeah, I thought so. I was like, is that that armor kind of low? I really like this song that uh, DDR Kirby made. Blue alien artifact. Okay, don't need. Yeah, and I am so much faster in the liquids than I would otherwise be. Oh, I'll, I'll be so. What? Yeah, I like I'm so much. Yeah, in the bullets because of the. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know it's crazy. Good. Yeah. Okay. I was. I think that's what orange does. I'm starting to. I'm starting to get an idea for at least what orange ones do because I keep looking at them. Don't need that. Oof. Yeah. Those are too good. Although on the other hand, I don't know. I'm like that messes me up. I mean, I have a super small shield, so that's kind of my fault. Moving faster than the bullets. It is a little silly. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Let's keep going. Inventory is full. Well, we don't want that anyway. Okay. <laughs> the uh, doubled. Fire. Oh my gosh, that looks delightful. All right. Yeah, it's the fire rate. Uh, all right. Well, we seem to have discovered everything on the planet, and it's triple, tripled the duration. So we get thirty seconds of this instead of ten, which is amazing. All right. All right, guys. Gosh, I might win the game. I have not wind, uh, wind. I've not won the game in a very long time. Let's see what we got here. The regen rate is just unreal. Recharge rate is halved. Oh no! <laughs> it would be a whole point. I mean, compared to other stuff we can get, though. Yeah, I mean, we'd probably rather get the angry shield. Yeah, let's get an angry shield. Dude, whoa, it's so much better. Also, it got damaged. That's why we kept this back up. Okay, what kind of upgrades are you talking about? More points? Sure. Okay. Man, am I going to win? As long as I don't try to demonstrate... What was that? I thought the whole screen shook. Um, as long as we don't demonstrate <laughs> tiny shields anymore, we should be fine. Don't need it. Ooh, gimme, gimme, gimme. Green alien artifact. No, we don't want that. Gosh, that tiny shield regenerated so fast. I don't know, I like that. But see, I didn't keep it, so it's balanced. Uh, <laughs> the damage. Oh, the damage is real, as they say. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, good. Yeah, see, so I'm not... This is why the game becomes easier, too, later on, is that there are not new enemies that are introduced, so we're not fighting anything stronger. Uh, we run out of mini bosses because, again, they don't have. I don't have. They. I did not make mini bosses that are appropriate for this difficulty level, so you just don't find any. Um, and yeah, new enemies don't keep getting added because there aren't any more to add, and so. Yeah, now it becomes easy because I'm finding new equipment because it randomly generates those. It's as if it should randomly generate. Um, 
Other things, sure, I'll take, whoops. Wee, see, look at, look at that. I just go off the screen. <laughs> That's why we noted that bug. What does this do? Never used it. Takes away one ship upgrade. If we have none, permanently reduces hull. So I think I did have my ship upgrade. So that cost us like 1,200 points. That's not awful. Oh, I'm way too fast. That's absurd. Oh my god. Oh no, I didn't. Well, good. Then I must have lost a little bit of max hole. Uh-oh. No one loves you. Please, please die. No one loves you. <laughs> it's so awful. Poor guy. He's just living his life. Sure, more max speed. Why not? Whee! Is Grey good? Invulnerability. Yeah, we haven't used that. We should consider. Whoosh! <laughs> I need to fix that. Yeah, it's kind of silly unlocking the reverse paths. Oh well. Right, we can't go that way. My god, I really am going to win. It's crazy. Okay, what new shield did I get? Whoa! I'll take it. Ooh, let's take it. Tiny overcharged shield. That's really good. I like how crazy that is. Uh, sure, we don't seem to be having... Well, no, we are. <laughs> like, we don't seem to be having inventory space. We totally are. Um, yeah, that's nonsense. We like the... Yeah, I don't know. It's crazy. We have not been finding as much equipment. I kind of... No accessories. I feel like the game must be broken. I should have found accessories by now. I mean, they are the rare equipment type, but... Um, I don't know. This is a little extreme. And I should take a note of that, actually. Let me... Yeah, get this... Oh, goodness. All right. Um, items. Is the... Oops. Is the game no longer uh, dropping accessories? Yeah, because I, I don't know what's going on there. All right. And those are the sorts of times when I should just use. I'm so bad at using the items. I mean, that's every one in every roguelike, right? You have to remember to use your items. Uh, and I just always forget. That's what you have to do in, like, the old... Uh, you know, like Final Fantasy for even the Super Nintendo. I was going to say Nintendo, but even for the Super Nintendo, like the American ones, they make so, the American versions, they make so easy that you don't have to. But if you play like the the Japanese difficulty level settings, if it's available because it's a re-release or whatever, um, yeah, you better remember to use those potions of like, you know, all the, oh, soft to cure petrification. Like how often do you use that? Almost never, but you know, cure poison, cure blindness, all those status effect curing potions that you get that you just end up selling for money, it's because they remove all those bad status effects. They don't remove them, but they just greatly reduce, you know, they, they reserve it for bosses, not just common enemies, whereas in the, the Japanese versions. Yeah, deal with that. Increases the entropy of random equip ship part. Well, that's too bad. Bullets fire at odd angles. Oh, good, I've never been able to test this. Wait, which... Yeah, 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 it's the purple one. Oh, it's it's the rainbow gun. See, it's like shooting all over the place. You're not going in straight lines anymore. Well, that's what happens. That's the curse. We're cursed with uh, <laughs> bullets that can't shoot in a straight angle. It's just random offsets. Good. Good. I had not uh, been able to test that before. At some point, I do need to do something where I... Uh, Sorry, looking through items. I don't know, I never use these. Prevents new enemies from spawning. Great, that's a great combination. I'm invulnerable and no enemies can appear. Ooh, was invulnerability duration not tripled as well? I don't know, I feel like maybe it should have been. That's hard to say. I mean, yeah, it's safe to double. It sounds a little scary, but honestly, if you needed the invulnerability for something, you did it in five seconds and then you're done. So getting it for more time really isn't going to be that big of a deal. Yeah, adaptive software. Sorry, just exploring these little bits. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, but I missed that whole pixel row. Uh, all right, let's see what we got. Oh, I'm just, I'm just holding on to so many of these. Yeah, I have to. Synchronized recharge rate is halved due to 
girl. <laughs> That's a text issue I'm honestly going to leave in for this next release because the way to fix it is to make the window taller. And that is not as trivial as I would like it to be. There's, like, I've, I try to use a lot of math to position things rather than using fixed numbers, but I try. I don't, it, trying does not mean necessarily succeeding. So I know it's going to be weird work to, to get those just right. So I'm not doing it yet, but so I'm dying again. Um, yeah, I'm totally going to have to fix that at some point. Anyway. Yes, I was like, wait, there was something I was going to write down. Um, oh, I should have taken the bigger inventory. Whatever. It's fine. Well, I saw that. You don't want that. All right. Man, I'm for seriously going to win. Again, it's because I like I never just get to this point. Once you get to the, you know, past, not quite halfway, but just past halfway through the game, uh, you, you know, no more enemies. So no more new enemies. And meanwhile, I just become amazing. For a while, I was going to have it make the same enemies. It, it used to be that the enemies got um, randomly generated items, and the strength of the item was dependent on the uh, difficulty of level you were in. And so that kind of auto scaled the enemies, not as much, not as, not like totally. You know, not not the full effect that we would want, but a lot more. To have you know dealing more damage is definitely a big deal. Uh, but they didn't have more health or, or move in any new ways, and so. Uh, that's definitely something wanted as well. But um, I ended up removing that. And the reason I removed it is because I think it's important that when you see an enemy, you know what it does. And when they have randomly generated bonuses, it means that some of them might end up with the more powerful version of their weapon or the bullets shoot faster or maybe the rubberized or whatever. You know, they would get all those same... Whoa, did you see that? Some of those bolts got, like, stuck in the angled wall. Uh, anyway, uh, that I felt I felt that, that was bad. Like the enemies, you need to look at an enemy, know what it does, and plan accordingly. Again, it's that whole thing of being able to make decisions um, meaningfully. And so I removed uh, that so that they all have fixed weapons now, more or less. I mean, you may notice that the bullet shapes are different, and I think there might actually be technically a little wiggle room in some of those things. Um, but it, it is much, 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 much less than before. New shield... Another synchronized shield. Much smaller effect, but a bigger shield. Oh, also that one is halved. Recharge rate is halved. I don't know. It's a bigger shield. We don't get the angry thing. But whatever, let's try it out. Let's get rid of that. That's nonsense. Yeah, let's get the bigger hole. God, my armor is awful. My armor isn't damaged, is it? No, it's just really old regenerating armor. I guess the fact I can make it this far without the upgrades means something. I'm surprised I haven't found any new... Am I not finding new armors either? Have I not found new armors? Something something bad is going on. Have you noticed these swarms get much bigger? Uh, that th Those guys do kind of scale up. Um, I'll never have them go away. They just get bigger swarms as you go further in. It's not that. Um, same with like little black gnat or white, depending on the level. Um, their swarms become bigger. I like that you can fit through this one. You're the small ship. Yeah, it's crazy. I got the polymorph. I'm glad I got that, and I'm glad it worked, because there were a few bugs. It took a little while to iron out all the difficulties with the... Um, uh, all the difficulties with that. I feel like I just said a word just now with like almost an accent of some bizarre kind that I don't think belongs to me. But Anyway, yeah, there were problems, and now it works, so yay. Polymorph self is a really cool effect. I'm glad that... Ah, uh, gosh. Um, yeah, the faster ship is harder to move through those spaces. All right. Uh, don't want... No, look, see, I've already seen that area of the map. I'm not going down there. Although my shield is so much bigger, it probably isn't as much a deal. Pew, 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 pew. You are slowed. I was kind of thinking as I went through that through those that a narrow corridor of that was trippy. I thought I had gone through the wall and was concerned about the game. Um, it is hard to shoot that guy when my bullets uh, when my bullets go at weird angles. Um, ooh, 
That was pretty, sitting there behind that little bush or whatever. Coral, I guess. Um, what was I thinking? Yes, the, the narrow corridor of um, spiky walls, something like this that I went through, and I was all quiet <laughs> as I went through it. Um, partly I was concentrating, but partly I was thinking, man, would I want to use a slowing uh, ar artifact, you know, to, to help me get through this better, to, to avoid the high speed, because I was just talking about that. Um, I don't know. Do I win? I win. Congratulations, Captain. Mission of success. Yeah. Yeah, see you in 100 years. The truth behind Sector ZZ Omega 9 will be revealed. That is delightful to know. I don't think it should say try again when you win. On the game over screen, when you win, don't say try again. Say something else. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what to say, but not try again. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, try again technically, but I don't know. Anyway, let's return to the menu. What was my name? Ah, there's my score, 91102. Wow! So not only did I record a thing, I beat the game. And I discovered a ton of bugs, which is super helpful. So, thank you for helping me. <laughs> it's weird. Talking actually does help, even if I never post this video. Like, the fact that I imagined someone listening to me and talked about things was helpful. So, thank you, imaginary theoretical humans. Um, and real humans who will... I'm going to upload this, obviously. You're seeing it now. So... That's a really weird thing, because I can say that, and even if I, if I never upload it, you don't see it. So the fact I said it doesn't matter, right? But then you do see it, so the fact... I, it's, I don't know what, what you call that. I hope there's a, a phrase for that sort of thing. It's not a self-fulfilling prophecy, is it? I don't think that I don't think that it quite is. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for playing. Um, I will have all these things that you saw, and more, <laughs> will be um, this weekend. I, I'm, I'm pretty confident that I will have a release ready which is going to be super awesome so yeah uh, i i hope i hope you're looking forward to it steam release I can't quite say when that's going to happen but i'm going to start working on it uh you know really really whole hog or or whatever phrase you want uh once i have this release done so um yeah that, that's the sort of thing where maybe i'm like oh this was easy just took a day or well and i'm sure steam has to review my code to make sure i don't give you guys a virus or whatever um and or you know i go oh my god that's hard and it takes me a week so I, I just have no idea i've never done this before so i i unfortunately cannot give you an estimate but it, uh, there you go so thank you again and goodbye